Hello friends, welcome back to another awesome day, day 45 of the 100 days of hell with Python Algo Trading. This is an absolutely awesome morning in Singapore and I'm up from last 5 to 6 hours just for you. I was really working very hard just to give you the best content possible. So today we'll be starting with one of the most important topic that you will face that is option data downloading. After this session, you will be able to download any kind of data from any exchange from any country. I know every exchange or brokers have their own APIs, but we will be fetching or downloading the data from any source. You will be able to download data for stocks, for futures, for bonds, for cryptocurrencies, any kind of data, right? Or any kind of time interval. And why this is important? Because along with the theoretical part, we should be also focusing on the practical part because that is what really matters. And one more thing. Thanks a lot for the huge support on the option volatility and pricing series from the Sheldon Attenberg's book. I'm really very thankful and grateful for this. And I promise that I'll be working harder and harder each and every day. So without a further ado, let's get started. So this video will be divided into two parts. In the first part, I'll show you how to use a trading view and then how you can import the data from the trading view to your Python. And in the next part, I'll show you how to specifically fetch the option chain data from the other sources, right? So let's start with the trading view first. So if you can see on the screen, I have this trading view website. And here, if you click on search, you will see that you have many options. The first is all, then you have stocks, funds, futures, Forex, crypto, indices, bonds, economy and options. Okay, now let's say we want to fetch data of Bitcoin. So what I'll do, I'll just go and type here Bitcoin. And let's say I want the futures data. When I click on here, you will see many exchanges, right? You can see here CME, Binance, Bitmax, uh, Kraken. Then we have Bybit, uh, HTX, Deribit. So various exchanges, right? Now it's up to you that on which exchange you are trading. So let's say I want the data of Binance, right? When I click, it will launch the chart. So if you can see here, the chart will be launched. And this is the chart of Bitcoin. Currently it is one minute. So I'll make it to let's say one hour. And you can see. Okay, let me make it a little bit uh, visible to you guys. Uh, actually, I have made it uh, like uh, gray and black because sometimes red and green affects our emotions, right? So that's why I always use uh, this neutral color. So let's say we want this data, this exact data in the Python. So for that, we have an awesome library. And that is this TV data feed. If you can see here, trading view data feed. I'll post the link in the description so you can refer that. Okay, now let me show you the documentation of this. So you can see here that to install this library, you have to like perform this uh, command, pip install, upgrade, then no cache, and then this link. So I'll just copy and I'll open my... Okay, let me run this. So it's already installed. If you are installing package on your uh, code editor, let's say Visual Studio Code or Jupyter Notebook, you have to use this exclamation sign. And when you hit Shift Enter, it says requirement already satisfied, right? So now what I'll do, I'll just remove this for now. And I'll go back to the page, the documentation page of this uh, package. So I'll open this. And here you can see that to use this, we have to uh, import this from import TV data feed and interval. So I'll just copy and paste this uh, in my Visual Studio Code. And here you have two options. If you have the trading view user account, it's well and good. If you do not have, no need to worry. You can just leave it blank. And I'll just remove this from here. And I'll run this, right? So it says you are using no login method and data you access may be limited. So it's okay for now. But if you want like more data, if you want that your session should be extended, then you have to use this username and password of TradingView. So here what happened? We created this TV instance of the TradingView data feed of the TV data feed class. Now let's open the document again. 
and okay now it says to download the data use tv.gethist method this is the method get hist we have to use this and it accepts following arguments it accepts symbol it accepts exchange and both are strings right then it accepts the interval so in interval we can say daily like uh, by minutes by hours and then again number of bars so number of bars are integer you have to provide that how many bars you want the bar means let me show you a trading view bar means these bar right one two three four five six means how many these candles you want in your python right so that is the number of bars so now what we'll do i'll just copy okay let me quickly copy this whole code and let's open the code and i'll paste it here and let's say i'll comment it out the last three lines and we'll just work on this one so i'll change it to nifty to bitcoin let's say bitcoin data right and i'll change the symbol from nifty to btc for now and let's say exchange is binance okay so now when i run this let's wait it says no data please check the exchange symbol yeah let's check exchange symbol i'll open the trading view first here i'll search btc let me select the exchange so crypto here we have binance right and let's first understand the spot one so here the the symbol is btc usdt right and exchange is binance so we'll just go and check here and i'll change from btc to btc usdt this pair should be correct right and when i run this now it's running so when i check the data frame you will see that we have the ohlcv data right and here also when you check it is 13th of july 9 am and currently in singapore it's 9 am so and the last bar is 57827.99 and that is a close price so let's go again and check uh, launch chart and if you check here the candle of 9 is running currently right so we'll check the second last candle right that is this one and that is also 8 am and at 8 am you can see here the close price is 57835.58 right here you will see the close price so the close let me zoom it a little bit so here is the second last candle and close price is, is here so when i hover on this you will see that it is 57835.58 so when i open the code studio here you will see that the close price of second last candle is 57835.58 and in trading also we we'll always use the second last candle for the analysis okay so let's say i want to plot the simple moving average of this close so what i'll do i'll simply go and uh, bitcoin data and here i'll just print the close which is this one and here we can use the rolling period right so rolling and i can give 20 right and when you run this you will get this and then you can find the mean of this so mean is okay so now you can see that when we print the initial 20 candles you will see that initial 90 candles are nn values because we are calculating for the last 20 uh, candles right so if you check for the at tail 20 these all are fine right so now you can simply go and plot this like for this you can use various libraries you can use matplotlib you can use sns you can use plotly and if you want me to cover more on the libraries of the plotting libraries please let me know we can cover that right so here we have the simple moving average of bitcoin of the last 20 candles right it's very easy just you have to practice and it will be okay there might be some error i'll check later what is this but for now we are able to print the uh, simple moving average of the bitcoin for the 13th of july right now let me show you a few more things so okay let me keep the code here only so i'll push on the uh, github and you can uh, clone this right okay let's open the document of library again and here let's see so for the next we have future continuous contract so let's open some future data so for that i'll again go to uh, trading view and here okay so let's print this option here so i'll click here and this is the bank nifty index options for 16th of july right 
so let me show you for the bank nifty so when you go here and you can search here as the bank nifty and you will see many symbols so when you click here you will see that you have bank nifty 1 you have bank nifty 2 then bank nifty n 2024 then bank nifty q 2024 so let's say you want to see the chart of this so you will click on this and it will be uh, opened and here if you want this in python you have to use this symbol right so what you will do you will copy it and you will go and you just copy and paste here bank nifty 1 and you change from binance to nse and when you run this you will get the data and when you check here you can see that we have the uh, data of bank nifty right the option data correct now like you have multiple options in this you can explore more if you want and you can plot the open high low close volume all the data and let me show you a few more things of this uh, library so you will see that uh, if you want like you can open this code here the data feed and if you want to explore more please uh, go and read all the code here the main file the data feed file the consumer and seis file here you have like a search symbol you have live feed also uh, you can even create the new seis right that is the symbol exchange uh, interval uh, set and like you have multiple options here you can make it automated right so this was for the uh, trading view and in the next video i'll show you that how you can extract data uh, from various other sources right so this was it for this video i'll see you in the next video until then bye bye take care have a nice day